Hi, my name is Mwiza. Greetings and blessings to Quiz Clean, Quiz Era. We're here tonight for the 21 questions. Um, I've not been here before. I've not done something like this before, but I'm expecting something very exciting. I expect fun. I'm always up to, you know, happy things, happy vibes, positive vibes, just connecting with people. You know, another chance that I get. Forever Media, wild one. Greetings. <laughs> 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 my name is Jokwiz Clean Quizera. Um, my name is Mwiza Sophie. Yeah, good to meet you, Sophie. Good to meet you, Quizera. Yeah, I like Mwiza. the surname. Mwiza. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're here for 21 questions. All right. And uh, before that, though, they wanted to know what do we do. So, you want to go first? What do I do? Yeah. What do I do? What do I do? I do nothing. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I do a number of things. I'm an accountant, nine to five. I do social media influencing. Then I have an online shoe store mm -hmm. called the Soul Connection. Soul Connection. Where, where I sell like shoes. Soul Zengato. Soul, yes, the one for the <laughs> shoes. <laughs> So, the nine to five is it actually nine to five? It's actually nine to five. Wow! So why do you do nine to five the whole day at night? <laughs> I uh, I don't do a nine to five. You don't do a nine to five. Come on, I don't do that. Okay. That? I don't even know what you're talking. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm a radio and TV host, okay. um, farmer, uh, artist. Artist, you sing. Um, <laughs> you draw. <laughs> it's a big word, I know. I used to draw, but I sing. I actually like. I don't consider it singing. I consider it making music. You do make music. Yeah. Interesting. Of, yes. So which radio station do you work at? And Next radio, and then BS. And BS. Next media. In general. In general, yeah. So, so we'll be oh, there. Oh, I thing. would love to hear your music or something. My music is not out yet, <laughs> but maybe by the time this episode <laughs> is out, it's gonna be out. But uh, but I have songs. You have so songs, so I can hear some up to here. Maybe, <laughs> but yeah, you will hear so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll play you the song. I'll play you the song. I'm releasing soon. Sure, so, that's interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually haven't discussed that, you know, anywhere. Because I am like a perfectionist. I make a lot of music before I put them out. Anyway, here we are. 21 questions. Alright. I'll go first. <clears throat> what is the biggest risk you have ever taken? What's the biggest risk mm. I have ever taken in it's like life? You don't, you don't take risks. I do take risks, but the biggest... Mm -hmm. <laughs> biggest risk. I don't know how to answer this question to be honest. <laughs> Neither do I. I take risks like every day. Yeah? We do take risks like, every day. Like let me day. go and tell that man I love him. Uh, does it have to be about love? Money, I mean, that's, life, that's what I'm, everything. What risk? Did you like uh, oh, did, what do you do? What, what is risky? Like you, so, you didn't answer the question but go ahead. You, I you, didn't answer. You said some things. <laughs> something. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, to be cool. Honest. I'll give you five out of 10 for that question. Are we supposed to award Max? Your turn is coming. I'll see how you'll be doing. I'm here. All right. Okay. How do you know when you are ready for a relationship? I know when I'm ready for a relationship. How do you know that um, now you're ready? Boom. I know by realizing that, you know, I want to know what's going on in that girl's life, you know. Like you're wondering what is she doing right now? Can I want to be with her? If she can't leave you're your mind, things. yeah, you know, you go back home. You think about her. You want to text her. <laughs> then you, you just get more and more of that. Then clowning you feel like you exactly being, <laughs> being a fool. When you start clowning, <laughs> I hate that space. Yeah. I hope I'm I'm happy that no one is ever recording our life. Otherwise, and tell you, you a lot of want clowning. to see it being replayed tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. See, how did I answer that one? 
Would you like to be famous? And in what way? But you're already famous, right? I don't call that fame. Okay. Um, if the fame doesn't come with money, <laughs> I don't want it. So you'd like to be famous, but with money? With money. Hmm. Fair. What way? Influential something. Being looked at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could do what you do. Like yeah. Kim Kardashian, you mean? Sorry? Like Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Um, are they or, no that not that kind of influence. I would give an example for let me say like Flavia Tomosime, something like that. I see that. Nice. Yeah. She's a better woman, huh? Yeah. Sorry, Kim. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you ask questions or do you settle for what you know? Um I never, I never settle for what Question. I know. If the, if I know that there is questions to be asked, unless what I know is enough and doesn't deserve any questions to be asked. Literally, you ask so questions. So I will ask a question if I feel like I need to ask a question. However, mm. sometimes I just chill and let time solve things. Mostly when I probably know the answer and it's not a good one, I can exist knowing that that's not a, an answer I want so I'm you not going to ask that question exactly. in short yeah. cool nice here we are not bad I thought this going to be hard to answer but this is a very easy <laughs> question oh we're smart <laughs> that's right we are smart mm -hmm. what is the stupidest thing you've ever did on a dare who oh, you like play truth or dare some stuff like that yeah can I, we swear I, no uh, oh, dare the like uh, what is the stupidest thing you've done you've ever did on a dare like someone is daring you to do something oh yeah <laughs> have one? um we were playing truth or dare in a room oh my god what did you do my man was there and <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine is a friend to all of us and the woman was also there and I was dared <laughs> to slide my hands in the in his pants <laughs> oh. I, I, so I did touch but he didn't let me touch but I was going to <laughs> Did you like feel anything towards there? It's <laughs> like an old dude. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That was dumb. But I was. So you failed the dare. You didn't do it. He failed. He actually took the punishment because be... I was ready and I had already slid my hands in. Did you, I wasn't did you ready. really want to touch or you wanted to say I wasn't to ready no? to take shots. <laughs> I'm asking a question. <laughs> Did you want to touch or you wanted him to run away? I knew he wouldn't let it happen. So I me. had one job to do, bold. Nice. That's a good one. Yes. Is that you? Okay, That's cool. me. I'm getting excited with these questions. Um, I've what, even asked more than they asked us to ask. <laughs> more than 21. Um, what gets you angry? Angry. <laughs> I hardly get angry. You ran? <laughs> I'm not an angry person, and when I get angry, you I get, get over angry. a lot. I don't think about what makes me angry. Let me see. Let me think. Three, two, one. I'm so mad. What makes me mad? Ah, oh, man. I hardly get angry. I could get sad. I could get other things, but angry, mm -hmm. it's usually like five seconds, so it goes away. You're very... Usually, it's more like a, something didn't do something the right way. It's just like, ah. Oh. But then it's like five seconds, so I'm not gonna point out anything. I'm not. You can't get me angry. Come on. In short, you're very patient, understanding, and all that. I think I'm more like a. I can't let anybody get me angry. I'm impatiently patient. You know if you understand that. I, I don't usually take that I'm patient because I'm impatient, but I can be patient. So impatiently patient. It's been <laughs> nice to chill around you. Yeah. Crazier. So I don't get angry. Do you get angry? You don't oh, look yes, like I you do. Get, come on. Um, I'm very patient, but I do have a few things which trigger me. Yeah. Someone making How long me, can your anger last? I don't keep anger, cool. but I'll be angry in the moment. 
whenever you see somebody doing something, you have you shouldn't blame yourself, but you're part of the reason that they behave like that. <laughs> you were born like that. Someone will do you wrong, but you still forgive them and you'll still come through for them some other time. We're all born very beautiful and pure. Every day we are being taught in church, forgive, be kind, love one another. I always encourage people to just get out of bad situations, forgive yourself and free yourself and leave every day so that you don't have to hold on anything. You will be like, oh, people have done me wrong. I'm tired of being kind, but you can't help it. You'll still be kind. I believe evil people are also like that. But in the same spirit, I don't like to judge people who have not managed to invite love into their hearts, you know, these always reasons. And uh, for example, I don't have time for negative energy. Mwiza, what do you think you wish you did more of? I feel like I'm young <laughs> and uh, I have a lot of time ahead of me. And for now, I feel like I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm waking up, I work later, have a good time. I'm doing exactly that. Jacquees, what's your favorite book, movie, song, and you tell me why? My favorite movie is The Book of Eli. My favorite book is a play, Twelfth Night. Favorite song, uh, Get Me Radiant Weasel from 2008, like I said, all the way to like 2013. That gold generation. I feel like those are my favorite songs. Just dig in and uh, you'll be enjoying my favorite joints. So, Muiza, when was the last time you did something for the first time? I think that the last time is actually today. I'm doing the 21 questions, which I have never done before. So that definitely passes. Um, uh, Jacquees, on a scale of 1 to 10, What's the highest level of pain you have ever been in? I think this can cut across to physical and emotional. I've been lucky, you know, very lucky. I haven't, I haven't been in um, so much pain. I thank God for that. I feel like pain, mm -mm, the things that, that I find myself in a position to not be complaining or talking about pain like that. I say one. <laughs> so lucky, huh? son of God. What is the best path to find the truth? And we do here have different options. That's uh, science, math, art, philosophy, or is there anything else? I've found my truth so far with the knowledge I have, I think this is my truth. If you meet me later in the future, I may have changed my truth. But for now, it's through creativity, which is art. Uh, so yeah, I, I, yes, I believe in science, math, whatever, all these things, but in art you find something that is your truth. And I feel like everyone has their own truth. Science, whatever, they share truth, but like your own personal truth is through Art. The best way to find the truth, I believe none of what is mentioned there is the best way. I'm not saying it doesn't give the truth, but it doesn't generally give the whole truth. So I'll opt for something else, which I think it's actually to just exist, go through every everything in life, learn, fail, relearn and then you'll know the truth. Sometimes you have to experience it yourself. You will know better. So, um, I really did enjoy this show. I got to meet Moisa. I definitely had a good time. I didn't expect it to be this entertaining and, like I said, educating. I had a good time. I would love to do it again. I like how she thinks and, um, you know, there's a lot to learn for everybody. I feel like I learned so much from her and uh, vice versa. I would have never gotten a chance to talk to her like this. She's a, you know, I think I'd be scared to meet her and, and say hi. <laughs> I had to get out of the shell <laughs> at some point. Not even at some point, all the time. It was very entertaining and uh, educating at the same time. So, you know, it'd be so hard to get a girl like this, give me attention like this, you know, 21 questions, was time for that.
So big up on yourself, Forever Media, and uh, Amaido. <laughs> Amaido Organics, you already know, man. Champion style, elevation style, joke is clean. No boy violate we, no boy stop we. We elevate to be elevated, champion style. Big up on yourself, Forever. OJ. <laughs> to our viewers, please subscribe to Forever Media. You can subscribe and then watch our videos because this is very exciting, entertaining. You will learn and you will have fun while at it.